Hi kids and parents. Today we are going to teach you about prednisolone. First, we are going to bring you back to the day that Nutty found out he got diagnosed with nephrotic syndrome, a kidney disorder that causes the body to excrete too much protein in the urine. Hey, Fran. Hey, Nutty. I haven't seen you in months. How are you? Whoa, you have big feet. What? I do? Maybe you should go see your nurse practitioner. Okay, thanks. I'll go right now. Okay, kids, so Nutty just got back from the nurse practitioner and he learned a few things. My nurse practitioner tells me I have nephrotic syndrome caused by minimum change disease. It is the most common cause of nephrotic syndrome in children. My nurse practitioner prescribed me prednisolone liquid. That is the generic name. Brand names include Orapred, Pediapred, and Prelone. It is a corticosteroid and it comes in many forms, including oral solution, tablet, and orally disintegrating tablets. It can also be used to treat lymphomas, leukemias, arthritis, Addison's disease, secondary adrenal cortical insufficiency, congenital adrenal hyperplasia, non superative thyroiditis, management of symptomatic sarcoidosis, hypercalcemia associated with sarcoidosis, rheumatic disorders, asthma, hematologic disorders with thrombocytopenia, and many other immune system disorders, skin and eye conditions, severe allergies breathing problems, and blood problems. How do you know so much? I did a lot of research because I care about you. Common adverse effects include depression, hypertension, diarrhea, nausea, and abdominal distension. Life-threatening adverse effects may include circulatory collapse, thrombophlebitis, embolism, GI hemorrhage, and pancreatitis. Medications that can increase side effect include alcohol. Children don't drink alcohol. So I don't have to worry about that. Anyway, medications include alcohol, salicyclates, cyclosporines, diuretics, endomethacin, amphotericin B. In addition, medications that increase prednisolone action include salicyclates, estrogens, endomethacin, oral contraceptives, ketoconazole, and macrolide antibiotics. Medications that decrease prednisolone action include barbiturates, rifampin, ephedrine, and phenytoin. There may be an increased risk of adverse GI effects with NSAIDs including aspirin and ibuprofen. So now we are going to talk about medication administration. For oral solutions, use a calibrated measuring device to ensure accurate dose of liquid forms. This means no household measurement spoons. Yup, and for orally disintegrating tabs, place it on tongue allowed to dissolve and then swallow. Tablets may be crushed and administered with food to minimize GI irritation. It is best to administer in the morning to coincide with the body's normal secretion of cortisol. Now we are going to tell you about pediatric dosing. Dosing depends on what you are diagnosed with. However, since I have nephrotic syndrome, for the first four weeks, I have to take tablets by mouth, two milligrams per kilogram per day, every eight hours until my urine is protein free for three consecutive days. Doses, doses not to exceed 80 milligram per day. Next four weeks, I have to ha take one to 1.5 milligrams per kilogram by mouth every other day. For your information, for anti-inflammatory suppressive diseases, take 0.1 to 2 mg per kilogram per day in 1 to 4 divided doses. For asthma ex exacerbations, 1 mg per kilogram every 6 hours for 48 hours, then 1 to 2 mg per kilogram per day, maximum 60 mg per day, divided twice daily. Now we are going to tell you about nursing interventions. So nurses should assess potassium, blood glucose, urine glucose, and watch out for hypokalemia and hyperglycemia. Assess weight daily. Notify prescriber if weekly gain is greater than 5 pounds. Assess blood pressure every 4 hours and pulse. If chest pain occurs, notify the prescriber. Yep. Assess intake and output. Be alert for decreasing urinary output and increasing edema. Assess for signs of infection, such as increased temperature and white blood cells. 
Assess for mental status like mood and behavioral changes and aggression. Children should have periodic evaluations of growth. We'll have to make sure you are still growing. Now some client education points. Do not discontinue medication abruptly. Adrenal crisis can result. Avoid over-the-counter products such as salicates, cough products with alcohol, and cold preparations. Notify prescriber if the medication is not working. And lastly, always carry an emergency ID as steroid user. Now kids, go outside and have fun. And thanks for watching. Bye.